Okay, well, we just had a really great tasting of Barca Valle, um, probably the most famous wine historically, dry wine for Portugal. It was great to taste them. And we have the new vintage 2011, which was recently released. And for you as Portuguese, what do you think, you know, what's so special about uh, Barca Valle for Portugal and, and obviously for Sogrop, the owners and producers of it? Barca Valle is a quite old brand. It appears in 52. In that moment, is the only great uh, table wine from 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 Portugal. And uh, after all of these years, what you see, we have a lot of others beautiful wines in Portugal. But uh, we are proud because Barca Velha still be perhaps the most iconic Portuguese Portuguese wine. And uh, that was the reason why always when we announce a new colheita new vintage of Barca Velha, we are very happy and proud about uh, about that. We try to maintain, the, to be fidel to their philosophy of wine, and I hope to maintain that quality for many, many years. It's a unique wine, as we were saying. The first launch was in 1952, and this 2011, the latest one, um, is the vin 20th. Uh, vintage of Barca Velha. So just to give you an idea how special and how unique um, it is. Yeah, you don't make it every year and you have to find the perfect, you know, conditions to to make this very special wine. What are those conditions? What are you looking for? What's what's the character and personality of a great vintage of, of, of a Barca Velha? Yes, Barca Velha is a wine to have a long life in the, in, the, in the bottle. And only those which we feel they have that capacity to live for decades in in in, a, in bottle we called Barca we called Barca Bay. So that was the reason why the wine is so 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 rare. Since 50, 1952 until now, we ha only have <clears throat> decided to clear twenty colleges of of Barca Velha because. Uh, we feel only that have that capacity which we feel we want, we desire for that uh, for that kind kind, uh, kind of wine. Of course, nowadays we have much better conditions to produce this, that wine, better viticulture, better technology in winery. But perhaps we are more exigent now than we are before. So uh, I don't believe we'll have more Barca Velha. Uh, declare more, more, are more vintage of Barca Velha than we do before. But when you, as a winemaker, what do you look for? Obviously, you look for tannins. You look for fine tannins, very long in the mouth. Like, what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Of course, the tannins are essential in in that in in the, in, the, in that wine. But uh, not, uh, but tannins must have good quality. Tannins with with uh, bad quality. If, could be plenty of tannins, but if, if they don't have quality which we desired, the wine then the, uh, doesn't have the, the 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 style which we want for for Barca Velha. So what we are looking is of course good complexity, great great aroma, a very good aroma, uh, not too uh, too uh, intense, but with quality, with uh, with elegance, with some harmony, that. Good tannins, tannins to give the capacity to edges, and uh, something which is essential: a strong acidity. The acidity must be there, must be present, because that uh, marriage, if you could say that, between the, the, the structure of body uh, of the of wine and the acidity, each the which uh, give the capacity of the wine to edge for many many years in bottle. And the grape varieties play an integral part. It's not just one grape variety like Tariga Nacional. You're using different grape varieties, right? Yes, you use different different varieties because for a different reason. Because we feel like that. If you mix it that different varieties since the beginning, you could ferment in them. We have much better um, harmony in, in wine. Wines they they grow up much better than if you mix it that the wines after the the 
software fermentation. And we try to do that since the beginning, mix it the, the, those different varieties and more than that, mix it the vari uh, uh, grapes from different origins, different altitudes uh, to have since the beginning the best balance to have the pH, the acidity, which we desire for a wine, a wine, uh, a wine like that, like that. And the grape types are primarily. Francesa is the main variety. Usually is the main yeah. is the main variety. The second is Toriga Nacional. Tinta Roriz, to count small amount only to <clears throat> to give the, the Roriz salt and pepper as as you used to to say. And the Tinto count helps that freshness helps the, the acidity. And then you age out of about sixteen months in wood. Uh, it depends, the, the, the stage in, in wood depends, it's, you don't have any rule, it's the tasting who says the moment to take out the, the wine, usually between 16 and 18 months is, is the, the average. And then how many years in bottle? Hmm. Uh, again, again, that depends. Normally we, we launch the wine on average 8 years after the vintage, but of, of course the, the wine can evolve many many more years in the bottle. It could, that could change. For, I remember the Reserva Special 97, we have, we, we have so many doubts about the wine, if you will declare Barca Velho or Reserva Special. We take 10 years to, 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 to decide the, the, if you will call Barca Velho or Reserva Special and finally decided to declare Reserva Special. So the only problem with Barca Velho for me was that uh, the Portuguese drank all of it. So I think you have some good news now. Yeah, we have. Um, in this case, 2011, we, we had a different allocation. So and 60% is for the domestic market, Portuguese market, and 40% is for exports. And when we say exports, basically we are talking about the US, the UK, and of course Brazil. Brazil is a very important working market for for Barcavella. Very well, I'm looking forward to the findings. So, and it was well, a very good uh, and a big challenge to be here in Napa Valley presenting Barcavella, of course. No, I would, thanks for coming. It was a great tasting, really amazing. And I think the 11 is a is a really like modern definition of great Barcavella from the 70s and 60s. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.